Mamina has a question here. Watching 14.12, trusts and legal strategies, gets me thinking. I would like advice on starting an association. What are some starting points and things to consider? How do the PRI and other permaculture associations differ from the trust model presented in this model? Does the PRI register international chapters? How are PRI centers formed and operated? We, are, we have been for many years a not-for-profit company limited by guarantee because that's how you have to start in Australia. Where in America, you can register a 5013C, which is a American criteria for not-for-profits. Now, we now have a tax-deductible gift recipient charity where we can give tax deductions for donations received. So that's another stage. So as a tax-deductible gift recipient, and it's taken quite a long time to get there because it's not easy in Australia. We can give tax deductions for donations received internationally because we have an international reputa reputation. We can, that's our charitable trust, and we can link that to trade in trusts just like it is in the lesson there. And the trade in trust can commit all their surplus. Um, over and above their running costs, their net profits, to the charitable trust if we're working closely together. Here at Zaytuna Farm, we have an ecotourism type of system where we have um, a campsite, um, camping platforms. We can build actually five more cabins. We have a commercial nursery. Um, we have a dairy, all within the ecotourism area along with a shower toilet block and classroom and commercial kitchen you can see in the background further up the hill we've got car parks and a commercial industrial um, shed and office so that all links into a charitable organization which we've established on this property and now we have um, shares becoming available where we can build a total of seven more houses that's eight houses in total and shareholders will be shareholders in this event, in, in this professional entity, which attracts people to come here and learn. We set up centers like this around the world where people are interested. Um, they have to be registered teachers with us, so we know there's a quality. And um, we regulate these systems with a standard organization called PMI, Project Management Institute. So the Project Management Institute is a global organization that um, you can look up and you can see how projects are managed. And, and there's a standard there. Um, so when using that system, it's much easier to police the standard so that we know that people are teaching truly the permaculture curricula and they're not teaching metaphysics and unproven sciences, or, and they are covering the whole curricula. They're not just covering little pieces of the curricula. Now these sites usually um, are gonna have a ground base, if possible, it's not always possible, but um, they have land and, and, and where they can set up a demonstration of the local systems that are most applicable. And they have an education center where people can come and learn and take internships and get practical experience. So um, we've been involved in setting up quite a few around the world and um, it's quite a process, but the legal systems are not the same everywhere. There's not always the same um, legal requirements to set up a not-for-profit. It will vary from country to country. Mm -hmm.